Hong Kong nestles on the coast of China. It is a place of unique achievement. By its own efforts, one of the world's major manufacturing, trading and financial centers. It is truly a meeting place of East and West. The four and a half million people of the colony are proud of what they've done and of what they've made. The royal visit is a significant occasion and Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness Prince Philip were received with very real excitement. Kai Tak International Airport, a historic occasion. Never before has a British sovereign visited this place. The royal couple are greeted warmly by the governor, Sir Murray McLehose and Lady McLehose, and the children of Hong Kong. For the Queen, her first glimpse of the microcosm that is Hong Kong. Its vitality, its differing cultures, its people. For Prince Philip, a return to a familiar place. from the 6th Queen Elizabeth's own Gurkha rifles. Informality is to be the keynote of the visit and the Queen will see and be seen by as many Hong Kong people as possible. <laughs> Sir Yut Kyung Tan, senior unofficial member of the Executive Council, speaks at a Chinese banquet in the City Hall. In his speech, he said that while Hong Kong is more than 98% Chinese, we are a community in which people of many nations and races live happily together. I am most grateful to you for your kind and wise speech. And for this coin you have given me on behalf of the government of Hong Kong. It is a delightful memento of this visit, to which I have long looked forward and which we are both greatly enjoying. We are also grateful to you for this lunch which we are to share with so many of the people who guide the affairs of this city. We have come to see the remarkable phenomenon which is modern Hong Kong. On the very first morning, a visit to a street market, typical of the markets where thousands of Hong Kong housewives shop every day. modern swimming pool complex and as usual in Hong Kong the children were very much in evidence. I felt the warmth and vigor of Hong Kong's life. I also saw some of the oldest and newest of public housing and heard of the work in hand and further plans being drawn up for major housing development. The Oiman housing project a giant estate built to accommodate 46,000 people, a city population by any world standard. Oiman means love the people. Her Majesty visits the home of the Tang Sui Chung family and signs her name on a Chinese scroll which will be treasured by the family for generations. the Duke was making visits of his own, the police cadet school, the outward bound school, to see young Hong Kong people training themselves on the principles held in high regard by Prince Philip himself. The Royal 
royal couple visit Progress Hong Kong, an exhibition of Hong Kong industry and modern and traditional products. Items such as these, exported worldwide, are at the very foundation of Hong Kong's prosperity, and the visitors had many questions to ask about them. Excitement of another kind at the Happy Valley course of the Royal Hong Kong Jockey Club. The royal couple see the Queen Elizabeth Cup race run for the very first time. 40,000 punters and guests cheer the runners to the finish on the floodlit course. Her Majesty presents the trophy to the proud owners, and the winning jockey presents the Queen with a bouquet. Chun Wan, the centre of Hong Kong's textile industry, provides the venue for traditional Chinese entertainment. The Queen dots the eye of a fearsome-looking dragon and brings it alive in legendary style to perform a spirited dance of welcome. Chun Wan is Hong Kong's fastest growing new town. Its population of 400,000 is expected to double in the next decade. The Duke arriving at Kwai Chung to see the massive container terminal where ships are turned around faster than anywhere else in the world. 40% of Hong Kong's cargo now arrives in containers, mostly through this complex. Aberdeen home for thousands of Hong Kong's water people. Dragon boats escort the Royal launch to an ornate floating restaurant in the fishing port. provide floating stages for shows ranging from Kung Fu to Chinese opera. <laughs> Hong Kong has 9,000 fishermen, many of whom live aboard junks with their entire families. A pageant in Kowloon Park, right in the heart of Nathan Road, in the busy tourist and bargain shopping area of Kowloon. People from all walks join to provide one of the most spectacular events ever staged in Hong Kong. perform as they have done in China for uncounted centuries, story dances and legends to the rhythm of gongs, fireworks, excitement.
the Queen in glittering tiara and the Duke watch fascinated as a never-to-be-forgotten spectacle is unfolded. I am aware of the conditions which history has forced on Hong Kong and my predominant feeling is pride that so much has been achieved and that there is so much determination to solve the many problems that remain. Your aims, efforts and achievements have earned you the respect and goodwill of many governments and communities, both within and without the Commonwealth. The people of Hong Kong have toughness, imagination and an infinite capacity for hard work. You live in harmony with the Chinese People's Government. You benefit from the confluence of the two great cultural streams of East and West. This community can face the many challenges that confront it with well-founded confidence. I believe its future to be bright.